guys, my name is Suha and I will be talking about acculturation today. My sponsor in this video is TikTok. Hello and welcome to Crash Course. Today we will be discussing the effect of acculturation on one or more behaviors. So to begin with, what acculturation is, is essentially the psychological change that a person undergoes when they visualize or go through a new culture and they face the stressor of deciding which culture they should stay with. Would it be the original culture or the one that they now witness? Thanks to Canadian psychologist Walter W. Berry, we have four types of acculturation that can occur. There's assimilation, marginalization, separation, or integration. Assimilation is when someone gives up their identity entirely and assimilates to the new culture and absorbs themselves in this new host culture with which they go into. And this happens to many immigrants who uh, move to a new country and they are basically left with no choice but to assimilate. Next, there's integration where individuals keep their own identity and their own culture but they also start to go into the host culture and somehow start bringing the values of the host culture into their lives so it's like sort of 50 50 where they keep their original culture but they're also open to other cultural influences and this next tiktok really establishes that as well cultured brown kid but also whitewash check <laughs> Next, we have separation, where the person just really wants to keep their own culture, and in doing so, they isolate the host culture entirely. So they really keep into their own traditions, and they just completely reject the rest of the society. And last but not the least, we have marginalization, where mainly the people just do not want their own culture or the host culture. And a great example of that are the first people from Canada, where when they were moved there, they had trouble negotiating to the terms of not only the new culture they were in, but also the roots that they had. And so in doing that, they experienced cultural loss from both ways because they stopped trying to incorporate cultural values from both sides entirely. It is important to establish that all of these coping strategies and how people um, assimilate to their culture can really affect them and how they live their lives. So for example, um, many of the immigrants that come to new countries and to new host cultures, they experience difficulty in actually trying to assimilate and in doing so, they have a lot more stress, which can not only lead to higher BMIs and more weight, but also substance abuse and other things. And those can really just be um, the negative effects of these, which is why many times people use assimilation as a coping strategy to forget about their initial culture roots at all. So Del Barrio et al. in 2013 tried to find if obesity among Hispanic migrants in the USA could be related to acculturation. So in order to see if adapting to a new culture by migration had an impact on weight, a literature review, which is practically like a meta-analysis, was conducted and nine studies were conducted on migrants from eight different cultures that had migrated to the USA. Six of these studies found that there was a positive correlation between high acculturation and high BMI. So that basically meant that the more time that these migrants sp spent in their new culture, the higher their BMI, which is weight, became. However, the other three studies rather demonstrated that the high acculturation was associated with low BMI, but this was mainly in women. And this, a possible explanation of this is suggested that this was because women were trying to fit in into the Western standard of beauty by losing weight uh, when, they, when they acculturated to their new environment. But men, they were trying to adjust to the unhealthy lifestyle of the country that they migrated to. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful.